I've connected the speed controller and we're about to try the speed. I don't have any indicator on there yet, but just to see whether it can get up to something like the speed that we're looking for to give you an idea of whether this pulley is actually going to be the right size to do the job. And the other thing is, will the leather belt hold up at a faster speed? And we're about to find out now. I'll keep this running while I switch on the mains. Now the speed control. Well, my guess is that that's going at at least 24, but I don't think much faster, uh, which means that quite likely we're going to have to change this pulley. Um, but first of all, I need to get an indication of the exact speed, so I'm going to put that magnet on there with the Hall Effect uh, sensor, which will give us frames per second. This pulley turns one turn for a frame so we can just read off the frame numbers so that's the next job and then if necessary we have to work out what size pulley we need on here to give us the greater speed certainly with a small reduction we're going to get there but if this isn't going at least 32 it isn't going to work we have to get 32 frames a second or higher on the speed controller so we'll see so the magnet on there and the uh, sensor fitted somewhere around there so I'll have to get a little bracket to hold that at the appropriate distance away from the magnet it should be pretty straightforward and here we are that's now fixed in place comes the magnet That should do the trick now for the little uh, power supply that I need to fix up and we'll get the reader going and just see what speed this thing does actually run at. Okay well initially I'm not going to glue the magnet on because I think it might have to be flopped if it's the wrong way um, but I have connected up temporary lash up but I've double checked it as per the diagram that's on YouTube. So I've found a 12 volt power supply and I'm just about, it's plugged into the mains, so I'm just about to switch on. So um, we'll see if anything happens. Yes, genuinely first time switch on and we've got four zeros. If I turn the wheel off. Wow. Presumably it's stopped on the final speed. Oh, it's dropped to zero now. Now, does that mean 28, 25 frames a second? I don't think it's as fast as that. So it looks like we've got the magnet around the right way. Yeah, so it hangs on to the final speed for a little while and then goes back to zero. So I'm turning it by hand at what might be only, say, 10, 12 frames a second, and I'm getting a reading of 600. So um, that sounds about right. So we're getting a pictures per minute reading on there I think I get the motor plugged back in and we run it on the motor um, we can be pretty sure of that because we've got a steady speed 
But before that I need to glue the magnet on because we don't want that flying off uh, at speed.